Today, I'm going to show you how to make money fast on Amazon. In fact, in this video, not only am I going to show you how to make money fast on Amazon, but I'm even going to share with you a niche that as of the recording of this video has virtually no competition. So what in the world am I talking about? I'm talking about a still fairly new Amazon platform called Amazon Ignite and how to use Amazon Ignite along with the tool that I'm going to show you to crank out quality products that help parents, teachers, and students for years to come. So enough jibber jabber, let's get started. Here we are on amazon.com in incognito mode. And when you submit something to Amazon Ignite and it gets launched, it actually goes into a category called digital educational resources. So we're gonna click on that bad boy because we're gonna do some quick research to make sure that the creating math problems is even profitable, right? So we're gonna go in here and I'm just gonna do something simple as kids, math problems. Oh, there you go. See, so some it's in the drop down, So that means people are looking for it. Let's see what our competition is. First of all, Oh, it went to all we don't want all we want because we don't want to be competing with books because that's not what we're looking for. We are going to go down once again to the digital educational resources. Let's see what our competition is. 61 results. Look at that. So we know that people are searching for it because it was in the drop down box. We know that there's no competition. I mean, 61 results. That's it. Now, remember when we looked at all categories, you know, the including books and everything that was like 7,000. So that's pretty competitive. But when you're doing it for Amazon Ignite, which is the digital educational resources section of Amazon, the competition is almost non-existent. So we know, like I said, that there's people searching for it. We know that there's not a lot of competition. Now, as far as sales, unfortunately, because Amazon Ignite currently doesn't have BSR or bestseller rankings, uh, we can really only go by the stars, the number of star reviews. So uh, this one's got a review. Uh, this one's got 10 reviews, three reviews. So, I mean, we know if we, from creating books, that only a fraction of the people that make a purchase actually leave a review. And if you look at the overall rank ratings of them, um, some of them are, you know, are pretty good. Some of them not so much. Uh, so either way, there's room for improvement. And let me show you how quick and easy it is to create a product for, in, in this particular case, kids math problems. Let me introduce you to kids math printables. Uh, it's from the same creator, Ken Blutman, the one that did Puzzle Book Mastery, Kids Puzzle Book Mastery, and now he's doing one, it's creating math printables. Now you can absolutely use this to create a math workbook and sell it on Amazon on KDP. But right now we're gonna talk about specifically how quick and easy it is to create it just as a printable because those printables that we looked at before, and I'll flip back over just to show you, they're PDFs. There's PDF download, PDF, PDF download. Uh, here's a zip download. Again, it's all Amazon Ignite. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to do. You can do it based on uh, age group if you want. You can do a little bit of research and see what kind of math problems they're learning in that particular age group or, or grade. But real quick, this is how easy it is to create a math printable on kids math printables. Click on printables. Okay, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select a border. So we can either continue with no border, we can upload our own borders, or you can select one of the ones from the system. So we're just gonna do real simple. Let's just uh, let's just do a, one of the borders that come with it. Let's just do beaded square. Okay, real simple. All right, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna select the type of math operation. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's just keep it simple. We're gonna do addition. Our difficulty, the difficulty is based on the, the number of digits. So for the default, it's gonna be one to nine, and you got 10 to 99. 100 to 999 and then four digits. So let's just go with real simple. We'll do using one to nine. I'm gonna create, let's just say 10 pages. I can select the font. There's a bunch of fonts available. Let's just do this one. Do I want the equations to go horizontal or vertical? So I'm just gonna go with vertical. Vertical is my favorite, especially when you're doing math problems for younger kids. Um, this is most typical to what they're used to, but you can always do horizontal as well. I'll show you how they both look. And then we literally just click continue. And there we go. That simple. There's our math problems. There's page one, page two. And as you can see, 
they're they're vertical. Uh, if it was horizontal, then the addition, the problems would go left to right. And again, it gives you plenty of space for the kids to write the answers. And then if we scroll down, because it's 10 pages, and if we scroll down to the bottom, there are the answers. And then I literally could just click download and it's on my computer. Honestly, that simple. Now, if I went over here and let's say I wanted to change the equation layout to horizontal. And again, there's this option here to include or not include the answers. I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to include the answers, but you can select no if you wanted to. Um, again, there's the border that we'd selected. Click continue. And there is a math problems vertical. And as you can see, it's a completely different set of math problems. So, you know, like the first one is four plus one over here. The first one is five plus seven. So they are randomly generated. They're not, uh, you know, just copy and pasting it from a, a database. And that's how quick and easy it is to create printable math problems. Again, you can adjust the math operation. You can increase the difficulty level, depending on what age group or grade level that you're aiming for. So that's really it. It's like I said, that simple. So there's a link down in the description. You can also go to kwheelerbooks.com slash kids math and grab your copy of Kids Math Printables today and start getting these printables created and uploaded onto Amazon Ignite. And if you're not on Amazon Ignite, and even if you are and you want to broaden your reach, take that same thing. Like you said, I only created 10 pages, but you can do up to 100. Create a workbook or multiple workbooks. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this product. And if you do purchase it, let me know down in the comments how sales are for you. I'm really interested in seeing how this grows, how that number of 61 competitors, that's it, how much of that grows and how lucrative it will be for those first people that actually get in there and start really making a difference. Crazy, right? Remember, kwheelerbooks.com slash kids math is where to go to get your hands on kids math printables. Can you think of an easier option on how to make money fast on Amazon than just clicking a few buttons? Now, if you're still confused on what the whole Amazon Ignite platform is all about, check out this playlist right here that I did where I show you everything from how to sign up, research a niche. Heck, I even show you how to create some products on it. Not as easy as kids math printables, but still pretty easy. Or you can check out this video right here that YouTube picked out just for you. I'll catch you in one of these videos and remember to write right.